In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add an effect to our scene. And this is for Harmony Essentials and Advanced. So we've got our animation going all the way out to 120. And we've added our camera move, and we still have our frame by frame animation, and our puppet animation. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of blur to this front bush element, which is as uh, what we did last time was push that element out. And we're going to now give it a little bit of a blur to even to make it look like it's more in the uh, out of focus and toward the camera. So I'm going to find my bush element, and I'm going to uh, like everything else. I can go to the insert menu up here, or I can go to the plus sign in the timeline view. Um, what I'm going to do actually is uh, right click, go to insert, go down to effect, and go down to blur. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that onto the mountain bush. There we go. So you can see it's turned the, bl turned the bush blue. And that means that the effect is, this, it tells you what the effect is affecting. In this case, it's just affecting the mountain bush. So now that I've got the effect there, I'm going to move ahead so that the bush is more in frame. There we go. And I'm going to go to my, well, I'm going to go to my render view. There we go. And you can see the bush is right there, but it's not really doing anything. If I go to my layer properties view, I can see that I am now looking at the blurs layer properties. And the radius is at zero, which is why we don't see a difference in our blur. So I'm going to go ahead and pump that up to, let's go with four. And as you can see, it has now automatically rendered the change, and we can see that the bush is now actually fuzzy. So I push it to the final frame, push all the way to 20. There we go. You can see the bush is there, and it's very fuzzy. I can see I can push up to five, making it even more blurry. There we go. And that's basically it. You can actually animate this over time. It is a, it is an effect that can be animated. You can add keyframes and have the blur change over time. And I'll go ahead and actually show that. Let's find the beginning of our camera movement. So I'm going to put a keyframe here. I'm going to put a keyframe at 110, which is where the camera stops moving. You can see that's already doing the interpolation. And I'm going to go to the function. And you can see that it's flat, that nothing is changing. And I'm going to take bring this down, actually. Down to 2. And so the bush is now less blurry in the animation. And as I scroll the animation forward, you can see it moving actually here in the function window. I'm going to move it a little more for forward. You can see that as it goes forward, it changes the blurriness. You can see it also in the numbers right here as I move forward. Those numbers go higher toward 5. And actually past 5 to 5.5. .5. And that's how we add a blur to our scene. And actually one more thing I can show is if I want to see that blurring happening without actually rendering it out, I can use this button right here in the playback, which is render and play. I'm going to go ahead and shorten this. I'm going to start it at 70. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to stop it at 110. I'm going to hit this button, and it's going to take a second to render that out. And a new window should pop up. And that'll be the play uh, module. And let's see. There we go. It's actually loading in the Harmony play module. Now that I have the play module open, this is how I can test it without actually rendering out my uh, rendering out the animation of the file ren uh, as a final render and making a actual that MOV. Um, file. So if I go ahead and hit play, I can see just those frames that I asked to be rendered.